Hello everyone, welcome back to Watch Natalie. I am Natalie spelled N-A-T-A-L-E-E. -E. I'm changing my format. I'm exchanging the intro for an outro. So the golden oldies that have been with me the past few months, we're gonna jump right. Oh, it's a beautiful hawk. We have red-tailed hawks in Chicago, but there's so much. There's crows, there's hawks. I'm so sorry. We're going to jump right into this. And all of the new new subscribers, newbies, new people, you can stay on to the very end and um, watch the outro, which will explain what's going on here, how this works, why it works, and like I said, what's what's going on. What this is, okay guys? So the downloads. I have three things to report. It's really sad energy from Friday, the song they put into my head. It's too late, baby, now it's too late, though we really did try to make it. I've been resisting the urge. Oh, this hawk is trying to get something. I'm sorry. I've been resisting the urge to listen to it. I don't know the lyrics like fully. I don't know that whole song. It's, what is it? It's Carol, Simon, Carly something. Um, and, okay, he's gone. And I really, I, I've been really resisting playing it because I can just feel it. It feels bittersweet. It feels like someone let go of someone, a necessary thing to do. And you're past the part where you're hurting about it. You're past the part where you're crying about it. You've accepted it, you've understood the truth, you've accepted it, you've done all the action, said everything you need to say, you're moving on and you're, and now you're kind of singing songs like that or having feelings like that, that are sort of like entertainment. It's sort of like entertaining. Like you can be just walking around the house, carrying your drink with you. Too late, baby, now it's too, and, but thinking about this whole big thing, it's, I feel, I must be connecting with someone who has like a great sense of humor or a morbid sense of humor or someone who's just um, very strong and resilient because it is very sad, but you're, you're not, you're no longer totaled, okay? Also, I channel the words taking a stand. They're telling me someone's taking a stand this week. Also, the last thing they channeled to me is the visual. I got the actual visual, like as if I'm standing right in front of it. And they showed me the words, told me the word. Oh, I spat again. I'm sorry. Told me the words and then showed me this cannonball. Where I'm just like, and it's, it's this huge thing. Just imagine like a bit standing in front of a cannon and there's like this whole thing where like imagine it turning, you know, and it just like comes at me. I did, it didn't actually fire. I didn't get blown out by a cannon, nothing like that. It's just the visual they, they gave me to explain what's happening. And what that is, is Saturn going direct. Saturn goes direct on the 18th. And as a Saturn ruled Capricorn, I'm really happy about it. It will impact every single one of you differently, okay? Look in your chart to where Capricorn rules that house. Look at your Saturn. Look at the aspects it's making to your major planets or every other planet. See what's going on, but look at the house that Saturn is in. That will tell you what will move forward with incredible speed, okay? It's, it's something, Saturn first went retrograde April 29th of this year. So it could be something that was going and going and going and then it stopped. It just, you know, stopped, completely stopped. It was a time to redo. It was a time to re-evaluate, reassess and learn more. It was also a test of your commitments, a test of your discipline a test of your, they're giving me a word. They're giving, metal, metal. They're, it's a test of your metal. M-E-T-T-L-E -E is what they're showing me, metal. Test of your metal. Okay, the past four and a half months. 
also it's a foundation. So all of the structures that were not stable, that would not have supported your success or your happiness, they have all fallen away by now. They have, you had been challenged to end and move, oops, have I been, being, you're being challenged to move on from all of those structures, those matrices that were not working for you, that were not gonna work for you in the long run. Okay, so. So. Ooh, that's you. Mm-hmm. This is all you guys. They've been giving me lots of cards at once. I, they, they want me to do this. Okay. So the, fir Ooh, the first three cards, and then we'll get to that fan of cards. The first three cards we have, we have the Two of Staves, we have the Knight of Wands, and we have the Queen of Cups. Okay. So right off the bat, water and fire, what does that make? It makes steam. Okay, you or someone you're connected to is really steaming, steamy. It's, it's, and it's because it's for a person, you're steamy for a person. This is someone that you have looked for. There's someone's looked for you their whole life, looked around the globe, run around the world six times, never met anyone like this person. Steamy, can't wait, chomping at the bit, can't wait to take a bite out of them. That's what that horny knight of wands is telling us. So it's masculine and feminine. Remember, we all have masculine and feminine feminine energies inside of us operating, okay? Your inner masculine and inner feminine both love this person intensely, incredibly. This is also a search for the partnership. So if you're single and there's no prospects on the horizon, then you are just like raring to go. It's like, man, when are they going to be here? When is someone going to come in? Oh, they're telling me if you're if you're trying if you're trying to have a crush on someone to hold you over until you meet like the real soulmate because you need to keep liking someone that's not going to work. Saturn's going to kick you in the butt after September 18th for that. That was for like one person. So let's keep it moving. <laughs> okay. Now this little fan of cards. We have, you are being watched. You are watching. Okay. There's an opportunity after the 18th, maybe around the 18th, maybe leading up to the 18th for sure. But it is a Saturn release. It is, Saturn is the school of life. It is where you take tests and you like cross your fingers that you pass. But if you don't do the work, you don't get the party at the end. You don't get the value, you don't get the prize. But with Saturn, what you earn, you get. So the hard work that you do. Now, if you had been a good, now here's, here's you. You're independent. You're independent, you have your own thing going, you're happy, you're generating your own happiness all on your own all on your own, you're generating your own happiness, you're excited about stuff, you've got your own thing going, okay? Seven of Pentacles. That's the card of one, exhaustion, number two of risk. You took a risk at some point along the way where you didn't know if investing in this one thing, investing in this one person, and maybe even investing in yourself was going, actually that feels like a ding, 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 investing in yourself in some aspect of yourself, either self-empowerment, self, uh, maybe starting a business, maybe it was about starting a business that you just didn't know if it was gonna take off or if it was gonna work or if the reaction was gonna be, you just didn't know. He, at this point in time, he has planted all of those seven pentacles in the bushes. And at the this moment, he's just, um, Okay, he's just so exhausted from how tired he is of putting the freaking pentacles in the bushes. He has no idea at this moment in time that this pictogram is like, he has no idea if he's going to at harvest time get a pentacle back or four or 12. No idea if it's gonna be a huge success or a dismal failure. But you took the risk and you won big, my dears. You want big. You're, you're, you are now creating your own happiness. 
See what this is, and you're actually, because you're in that vibration, you're creating your own happiness, it's attracting that like vibration, okay? Someone's been watching you do this too. I know that sounds weird, but that's the truth, okay? With Saturn, over the past four and a half months, you could have been tested with all Saturnian concepts. And I'm really feeling responsibility here. Because that nine of pentacles, ooh, that nine of pentacles, it's when you take full 100% responsibility for your life and your well-being and your happiness and your security, your protection, your nurturing, 100% of yourself for yourself, that Saturn rewards you, that you pass the test, that you become truly independent that you finally attract outside, outside good, wonderful things. That's this person. That's this person, this one person that whoever this is, this reading is for, that's your road. Not, this is, not everyone can just get lucky and like get good things happening and get good things going for them. Not everyone can get away with being shady and amass great fortune and amass great wealth. And this person, what this is, is the test of your integrity, putting into something with integrity, being honest and upfront. The Page of Swords is a super secret Scorpio spy card. It gathers information, it gathers intelligence. But the test of integrity is what does the Page of Swords do with all of this information? What does the Page of Swords do with all this intelligence? Well, I'm channeling the person that did Saturn retrograde the right way and you were responsible with it. <laughs> you worked hard. Every It's been nothing but obstacle after obstacle after delay after obstacle after delay after falling through after pulling out after the... You know, one disaster after another. That's what Saturn does. They put roadblocks in your way so that you can get smart and figure out how to get around it. That's real self-sufficiency right there. And I'm channeling the person that, all right, you want to give me, you want to put more on my plate? Okay, let's do it. Let's go through it. Let's, let's feel it to heal it. If you're going through hell, keep going. If you're at the end of your rope, tie a knot and hold on, okay? That's what, oh, that scared me, I'm sorry. That's what you did. You pass the test of integrity, manifesting your own happiness, and it attracts, I feel like there's there's another one. There's a 10 of cups that you're attract, that you're creating for yourself, and because you had completed that Saturnian self-sufficiency that I'm getting from this. Now, for some of you, this is only emotional self-sufficiency, where you had an overactive masculine energies within you and you solved and handled everything with the ego and with action principles and with, you know, changing from the outside and going and aggressively getting what you want and you couldn't nurture yourself emotionally. And that that's this self-sufficiency for you. For some of you, you had an overactive feminine energies acting within you, super nurturing, super coddling yourself. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Natalie, yeah, yeah, you know, all nurturing and you had an underdeveloped masculine energy where you didn't feel confident to go out and make your own money. You didn't feel confident to go ask for a raise. You didn't feel confident to provide your own physical protection. You didn't feel, okay, so you had to balance that out and be self-sufficient with creating your own physical security. Man, I got that locked down when I was like five, okay? Knives, always. Okay, so it'll manifest differently, but it's self-sufficiency that you have. And that's what Saturn rules too. Saturn rules self-sufficiency. Saturn rules like just like doing it for yourself and doing it by yourself, for yourself. For some of you, it is taking full responsibility for your own happiness. That you've already made money, you already have kids, you already have this, you already have that, but you're still not happy and you, didn't, you couldn't figure it out. What's the missing piece? What's the missing piece? And it's this, okay? It attracts... It attracts something towards you. It attracts either of um, like a creative idea, a creative opportunity. Oh, did you guys see my my devil, my death in the devil? Unven it was in uh, Psychic Eye on Ventura, and I was like, oh, it's time. It's time. Okay, so the next two that came out, we have the Chariot with the Two of Swords. So this opportunity, you do attract towards you. 
this oh oh they're showing it to me this is what's gonna break break loose break open around the 18th leading up to the eight you know now the over this next week okay like just coming up whatever was in the stalemate before look to look at look at your chart see where capricorn rules you can expect that there was some something something having to do with that house that was in a stalemate that just wasn't going to move now the completely opposite energies here we have stalemate situation all this energy and no direction to take it and we have the charioteer who literally tells the sphinxes where to go that literally we literally have the direction and we have the energies so when saturn goes direct full speed ahead take a stand cannonball Okay. This is something different. This could be someone you're extremely attracted to, or they're extremely attracted to you, or it could be this business. Because this creativity, it could be fertility, it could be a business venture. But we're all gonna have something going for us but like finally now if even it's it doesn't make it any easier no it does actually make it easier when you're ruled by saturn so i'm gonna give you some saturn tips oh there was this little king hidden in these two cards we have knight of pentacles king of wands and the eight of swords i'm not surprised to see this here or the two of swords the blindfolded females okay see how they're just they're going they're going through life like la 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 no that Saturn that does not fly with Saturn okay but that's the energy that's the energy it doesn't have to literally always be oh I couldn't see what was right in front of me some of you yes some of you know but what this is is someone the blindfold is off and they're able to take action listen this wasn't able to have any action and now there's action this person wasn't able to take any action and now they take action the king of wands is the man of action he's the king of action he's the the mover and the shaker he's the i'm not gonna get okay so so yes it does appear that this feels like an off mm. I'm so tired of just like saying, oh, I think it's an offer. It's an offer. I feel like it's an offer. This is, this is an opening. This is like an opening for you to walk through. It's interesting because you're, I like that you're showing up very self-sufficient. Like, first of all, this is a reward for overcoming and setting right whatever that was that was held up from end of April. Even the January, July eclipses have affected this in some way, shape or form. They were part of what needed to be reworked because it shouldn't have gone before. It was on purpose. The chariot is um, divine. It's a major arcana. So it wasn't meant to, to go ahead until now. So just trust in the timing natural timing okay and then what this is is there's a person involved in this you and another person who this other person they were they're trying to be thorough they're trying to be thorough trying to put this together this mm, they could be the one offering you the opportunity they could be associated with this opening somehow and they just weren't sure they wanted to be thorough they wanted to be 100 percent sure they couldn't see and it feels like there was I want to say bad words, but there were bad words. There were maybe confusing ideas about you being fed to this person. It could be something like that. It could also just be this one person's inability to see what they were looking at. And something makes me feel like at that time that you were not, that you were probably in the seven of pentacle energy where you were still planting, you were still working on yourself, you were still you know, um, accomplishing Saturnian lessons. So it was a bit of a divine timing thing, you know, natural. To oh, speaking of divine timing. So I put up sex and love pulled by desire and I uploaded the extended to YouTube. 
And I didn't know for like, I don't know, like a day or two, like maybe two days. And someone emailed, this doctor emailed me that was looking for it. And, you know, to download it, they bought it. And, down, and then when they told me, and I, we've, I kind of saw what they were saying and figured it out, I thought, that's so weird. Like, I made a joke about it. I, I refunded the money, and I'm like, yeah, definitely. I'll just, they're like, can you send me the YouTube file? I'm like, no, I'm just going to put it up for free and just give you your money back. So I put the Sex and Love Pull by Desire YouTube for free on YouTube, and the extended is still there. It just has extended in the parentheses brackets. And I made a joke in the thing like, oh, I, you know, by divine timing, you know, ha ha ha. But yeah, I feel like someone, because I'm pretty organized, like I'm very organized. That's why I get to do all the stuff that I do is because I'm super organized. So I feel like someone is meant to see the full sex and love pool by desire. So if you haven't seen it, it's free. It's on YouTube. So just find it, watch the YouTube version first and then watch the extended after that and and it might be for you i don't know okay i just wanted to let that make sure you guys knew that there's a free extended out there in cyberspace okay so hold on this is going somewhere this is like all context what a big greeting for you guys right now but it's very clear very clear Eight of Cups. I would really check out your weekly. The weeklies are super more detailed, very specific. Oh no, they're playing the song. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. I just, oh, I don't wanna be in this energy. Oh, I, it came up in a personal reading this, oh my God, this is, I saw some stuff, man, okay. Uh, forgive my like uh, okay they're singing it to me um, it's too late baby now it's too late but we really did try to make it oh my god this sucks who is feeling this why do I have to channel this in the middle of something really great happening for you and meeting someone and getting your work off the ground and creative projects you know, whatever this is for you, there was a very painful walking away from someone really previously crucial. This was someone part of your Saturnian lesson, that it was a karmic lesson, that you had to step into your own authority, your own masculine energy or your own feminine energy, whatever that that you were compens overcompensating, you had to bring the other side up to be equal. And, and I know it's walking away from a person and walking away from someone that you love deeply, and I'm sorry. Um, but like I said, this is all about the structures that were not stable, that had to come down so that you can build a, a really stable, I you know, wanted to be sure. You want to be sure. So it had to come down. Oh, and this could be you too, your masculine energies or the other person. If it's another person, it's love. Love or business. It's not the person you're, I'm not getting that, that you're walking away from. I'm not getting their energy. I'm getting your, your maturation. I can feel all of the different like stages of this. Like if there's someone that was taking your money, I can feel from the beginning when you first thought, no way. And then you thought, maybe? And then you started to think about it more and then you started to check little things and then you started to feel bad for checking little things and then you caught them. And then the whole cycle went on about them and you and talking to them and like that, all the fighting and back and forth. And then the final, you know, taking space away to calm down and coming back and then talking and then final resolution. I mean, I just saw this, I felt and saw this whole thing and that's that song. And now what you're walking, what you've, I, this is, you've already walked away from, what you've walked, what you've 
walked away from is the guilt of having to walk away. See, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. And that's part of your self-sufficiency, that you're not needing this person to like you. You're not needing this person to, to be on your team because you're going to have a structure of people who are on your team, like this little happy little family. Okay, everyone's just going to be team you. So it's part of what the blindfolds need to come off. And it's the energy, the energy click that moves everything forward. That's what I'm saying. Like this is like your Saturnian. I don't know why I'm feeling like talking about this for Monday, but this is your Saturnian wrap up. Okay, I want to just super quickly. I don't want to stay too long on this, but I just want to just clarify these cards a little bit more. Before we move on, just really quick. The Queen of Cups, the Knight of Wands, and the Two of Staves, please. Because I feel like there are a lot of different good things happening for you. Ooh, shoot. I am not taking that many cards. Yeah, it's like this the self-sufficiency thing of Saturn going direct and all of it finally crystallizing. See, this is that mastery, the card of mastery. You, ooh, I'm hearing like some of you found yourselves a master. Not a master to dominate you like BDSM, but a master who you really like respect. It's something about their passion for their craft or their passion, maybe they live their life very passionately, that makes you super steamy for them. I feel like it could be either or, I because I feel like you are right, you're self-sufficient, you're investing your, your, your eggs into yourself, sounded weird oh it's so weird you're investing into yourself and creating your own happiness answering to the calls passing the test of integrity okay let's clarify that the page of swords with the ten of cups seven of pentacles nine of pentacles ace of wands please that's what i'm saying i feel like it's gonna kick off Ooh, this is over here Aha, when something lands off the table or kind of out, sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes it feels like the opposite. So not you, but the other person you're dealing with. This is connecting to whatever was held up that's about to really rush forward and move forward. It was held up waiting for you to be self-sufficient and pass the Saturnian test of maturing your masculine energies, your feminine energies, being self-sufficient, nurturing yourself, protecting yourself, investing in yourself, being happy, full of integrity, flying like a little, you know, that's what was holding this up cosmically, cosmically. It wasn't a person watching you through their phone saying, this person hasn't achieved their karmic standardized testing yet yeah, we're going to hold back all the goodness for them you know it's not like that this is a karmic this is cosmos at work here it was held up because you hadn't come into your own process of maturation you hadn't grown the way you need to grow okay if you want more information on that check your weekly sun moon and rising the weekly readings because i feel like they're that's that's saturn I talk about, thank you, I was thinking about the world. Because um, it's, I was thinking about Saturn and I was thinking about a couple of the weeklies that I did. So, oh, and I talk about Saturn in the weeklies, okay? So this is closing out a major cycle. This is finally, and Saturn is the world card. The world card is Saturn. It's karma. It's karmic gifts coming back to you. So this is like, everyone's been waiting for the test results to come back. Ever, all of us, all of us were in the school of karma the past four and a half months, working on different areas of responsibility, working on different areas of being disciplined. What is discipline? What is discipline? Discipline is honoring a commitment you made long after the desire to honor it has left you, my love. How, how your commitment, your commitment to something was being tested. If it was a structure that was not supposed to endure, it crumbled. Tower moments. I've channeled tower moments over the past four and a half months, okay? Blew up. Blew 
up, crumbled the ground. If it's something that was supposed to last, it was harder to hold on to, it was harder to keep it together, but you proved your commitment to it and you kept it together. This could be a long distance relationship with a family member. This could be working in hostile conditions. This could be, you know, it's sacrificing, knowing that you love your responsibility. This is the shuffling. This is what had, this was all being held up because you had to shuffle your priorities. What do we have? We have energy, we have attention, and we have priorities. You had to reevaluate those priorities. You were prioritizing things that were not meant to stay for you. If whatever that has to do with, if you're over nurturing or under nurturing or over protective and defensive, under protective, under defensive, whatever you were resisting, growing, whatever area in your own character, this is just you, this is just you, your own character defects, whatever you were resisting, changing about yourself. If you change those things by now, this week, you get a gift, you get a prize, you get Saturn, you get Saturn. Yes, you do. That's what I love about being a Capricorn. That's what I love about Saturnian motifs is that what you earn, you get. Karma, cause, cause and effect, consequences, reactions, energy, responses, you know, all that stuff, okay? So that's what you can expect this week. And this, like I'm telling you, this was all, this goodness, this even more goodness coming to you was being held up directly connected to your process, your development. You, you can't keep negativity in your life. You cannot keep negative energy around you in your life being channeled through whomever, be it husband, parent, child, whatever, you can't. Because then you cannot attract what your soul wants into your experience. And your soul wants, your soul wants to pass the karmic tests. Your soul wants to grow. Your soul wants to evolve. Your soul itself wants to mature through having this human body and relationships and things to play with. It wants, that's its own, that's the reason why it's here. That's the reason why you're here. Okay, guys. Okay. So I feel like I really did that <laughs> justice. So those of us who did our homework and the past four and a half months when there was obstacle after obstacle after delay after difficulty after hold up when all of that was happening, those of us, those of you that stuck to the commitments you love to keep them strong, to keep, you know, it was hard. It was really, really hard that those things are going to just glide easily, easy, 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 easy. Now look at the chariot. It just goes. So the structures you set up, it's just going to go. It's just going to work on itself and you're going to have more free time. You're going to have more, you know, celebrations. You're going to have more, um, you know, spa time going, getting your whatever done. Okay. Um, if you didn't do the homework and, um, if you never walked away, if you never cut out those negative vibrations and situations, then you're only going to keep attracting this into your experience and you're not going to be a happy camper and Saturn's going to come and smack you upside the head. Okay, guys, I feel like we don't need to um, clarify further. I feel like you kind of get the gist of this. Okay, guys. Oh, let's just do really quick a Moonology card for advice. What advice do we have for the lovely individuals watching this? Ooh, what was that? Jeez Louise. The lovely advice. What advice do we have? Oh, so I am channeling someone that has done the work and that you can now receive the rewards. You can now expect to receive the rewards for your hard work. Okay. That's who, that's who I'm channeling. I'm not getting into... I'm not channeling like the people that tried to slack off for four and a half months. A new romantic cycle begins. New moon in Libra energy. So for some of you, being self-sufficient was the crux of this. Being self-sufficient in your masculine and your feminine in balance of both. That was the point of the, the hardship the past year. Okay. Or the whatever the past, however long it's been this, you know, whatever. That was what the holdup was 
in terms of what can really go for you. Now what's going to go for you is meeting somebody. That's exciting. Some of you just had to learn to be self-sufficient and so like, you know, to attract a, a really high caliber, really high quality person into your experience because now they're going to match who you are. You're independent, they're independent, you're self-sufficient, they're self-sufficient, you can protect yourself and nurture yourself, they can protect themselves and nurture themselves. Mutual respect, reciprocity, integrity, honesty, trust. I think it's time. I think I think I think it's time for me to sign off. Okay, guys. Take care. Oh, okay. So so goodbye to all the golden oldies for all of the newbies, for all my new subscribers. What just happened? What just happened? Well, hi, I'm Natalie, spelled N-A-T-A-L-E-E, -E, and I'm psychic. And if you resonated with this reading, meaning if you identified this as your life then I'm psychically channeling your energy back to you in this psychic tarot reading. Okay, my dears? And what that means is your energy is out there. You're mms, 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 and I'm just like an antenna. Picking up that mms, 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 and I get messages. I get visions, sights, sounds, sensations, music, voices, a bunch of different stuff. That's you, it's your life that you're channeling, that your people are, are giving to you and, and so on and so forth. And then I regurgitate it back out in this tarot reading for your consumption. And by you listening to these words, watching this video, absor absorbing these vibrations, it's changing the outcome. It's changing, your, it's changing you. You, can, you. You probably feel different right now than when you did when you first sat down to watch this daily reading, if you're still here. So... So when I do this and it's resonating for you, that's yours. You keep it, you take it, you own it. It's yours to do what you will. It's my gift to you. It's 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 my intention that these personal that these daily readings, that these YouTube readings feel like personal readings so that I can help more people. So you're welcome if that is if this is for you, it's from from me to you. And if you are not resonating with this reading, then you're still here watching this and you're here for the Scooby Snacks, you're here for the Nuggets of wisdom, you're here for company. So have a seat. You're very welcome. Stay as long as you like. Okay, Capricorn, thank you for joining me on the flip side if this is resonating with you. Oh, shoot. Hold on, I'm sorry. Okay. No, that April, april -y, that april -y moment. Oh my God. The Ace of Swords, the bottom of the... It wouldn't be interesting unless there were a Page of Swords in the mix. This energy is being blown out of the water, you guys. Seriously, man. That energy is being totally corrected now. The Sword of Truth with the Ace of Wands. This is truth and clarity and it is business. Because they're going to try to make up for passing you up before. You just got better, Capricorn. You turned yourself from April till this week until into the King of Pentacles, and they all have to watch it and see it and then go. So that's what I'm saying. Like, as soon as the 18th hits, as soon as Saturn goes direct, you can hear something. Like, this is an amazing week for you, Capricorn, and I'm glad that they gave us this context to understand it more intensely, more fully. I hope that you've made the best use of your time, Capricorn. And you have, I see that clearly. You've turned yourself into either the King of Pentacles or a better King of Pentacles. You didn't waste any time. Sun, moon, or rising. Oh, oh my. Hold on. I'm pulling them all. And this one too. Do you see how this is trying to come through that wheel of fortune with the two of cups from january february march april from january to april shit got fucked up from april to now you made yourself a boss now is being corrected this week is being corrected that mistake okay and so even though you're amazing you're fantastic we know that i know that 
you will feel so lucky to be working with this person and they feel the same about you. They don't want to let you go, that's what I hear. They don't want to let you go. You are their sunshine. Their only sunshine. Let's clarify the judgment card. My beautiful Capricorns. Can we please clarify the judgment card? This is the decision. This is like the ultimate decision that you make. Is there any other message that wants to come through about this chariot, this offer that comes through for Capricorn? Any? Yeah. <gasps> Capricorn. Double confirmation, Queen of Pentacles. With the Ace of Cups, the Holy Grail. Say yes. Say yes to love. Say yes to happiness. Just say yes. Capricorn, say yes. Please. Their love for you. They're walking away from something to walk towards you. They know that you have their happiness. They're sustaining their passion for you. Throughout this whole thing, they've been sustaining. This is sustaining their passion for you. Sustaining. They, I mean, they love you, Capricorn. They know it. They know they love you. They know they love you. I'm glad I did that. The tower specifically, I really want to be very granular and surgical about how we can help you, Capricorn. So let's pull a Moonology card for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising. There may be some kind of change and possibly even some sort of emotional explosion. This person, it doesn't matter, it's negated because you're both sanctioned by the universe soulmates. So don't stress about it. This person wants you. You say yes, but you're stressed about the backlash caused when you two get together. The way to negate that, the way to, to fix that is to number one. Number two is to change gears. And it will help alleviate this backlash of criticism of you, of the other person, of your relationship. Because this tells me that you are in control. You and this other person are able to control. Hello Capricorns, thank you for joining me on the flip side. If this is resonating with you, congratulations, this is an incredible spread. This is incredible, this is an incredible month for you Capricorn, if this is truly resonating for you. Okay, let's start clarifying. I want to clarify this what this gift is. I want to know what this gift is that we can expect for you like over the next two weeks of September going into October. It could even come from a family member as you go into October, the end of September. It's exciting. This is so crazy Capricorn. You are getting praise for your idea and people are watching a master at work. They're watching you build this business from the ground up. People are watching you in your mastery and they are complimenting you. The best way to know a Capricorn is through their work. Look at their work. Look at the Capricorn's work and tell them you like it. And that's like, that's everything. How are they doing this? They're wondering, how do you do what you do? I retain my position when I said that this is you, that this is both of your energies, masculine and feminine, operating within you this month of October. Oh my God, Capricorn took off the blindfold. Now they figured it out. Now they really figured out like the truth of life. They figured out how to get what they want. They figured out how the world works. They figured out how to make the pentacle. That's how they're seeing you. But let's further clarify. I mean, with the emperor, you're, you could also be coming together. Coming together with someone with an age difference. It looks like you put in a little bit more work and you get a little boost and you keep working and whatever that work is, it has to do with. Hey Virgo, welcome to your extended weekly reading. If this is resonating for you, that's quite exciting because there's someone that has great news. Wheel of Fortune, the Judgment, two major arcana with the Ace of Swords. This is divine. This was their karm this is their karmic payout coming back to them 
so you don't have to stress. I feel like this could also be you kind of edgy, not knowing everything, not knowing all of the facts, not knowing all of the details, not knowing the little itty bitty details. And even in the cards, they're saying your person is gonna keep it totally, totally, totally tight-lipped. Whatever happened, this is also um, justice for this person. They're always going to hold on to their privacy, their private time. This is a very private person. I know this is a lot about them, but they're coming to you. They're coming to you to... That is so interesting. They're being generous with you. You're investing into them. And now I feel like it's changing how you feel about reciprocity. I feel like you, Virgo, are now receiving such generosity, receiving the love returned to you. You are now reevaluating who you give to, who you help, who you invest in. You want to know the absolute nitty gritty granular details about this person's money situation and you know you cannot talk about it because it's a boundary. You're keeping it closed, you're keeping it shut. because your intuition is telling you, don't talk about it, don't ask them if they're not sharing it with you, just accept the generosity, accept the love, enjoy the relationship, and just go with the flow. All, all about the emperor. This is all about, whoa. This is all about you. Ugh. Have I ever spilled cards in my lap before? No right when I'm saying this is all about the Emperor. It really is all about the Emperor. It's about the Emperor within you. Taking out the negative self-talk. But what this is about is you liberating yourself, Taurus. If you don't feel empowered, if you feel too burdened, if you feel everyone's against you, if you feel unstable, you're not gonna be able to make an Emperor's decision, okay? It's crucial. This is a crucial reading for you, for whoever I'm channeling, whatever Taurus I'm channeling, okay? So let's see what we can do for you. You have to open your horizons. You have to consider all the opinions. You have to consider everything. There's, there, you cannot leave one stone unturned, one opinion uncounted. The cosmos directly is telling you this, okay? You need a better vantage point. You need a better perspective. Shake loose that traumatized perspective, okay? And what is right in front of you is conflict and burdens that you're not looking at the bigger picture. You're not able to look from this high vantage point and you're not able to look at the long term because you're bogged down. You're in the, the trenches. You father yourself. This has to do with managing your money. This has to do with managing your emotions. This has to do with managing conflict around you. This has to do with managing the burdens that you're carrying so that you don't crush underneath the weight. It's, in, it's inhibiting your ability to make good decisions for your life. You're holding yourself back. You, you clicked into this extended, so you have all the answers. And now what you do from, you can, you can change the outcome of this. For this week, Taurus, you can change it just by receiving these vibrations of me coaching you and helping you, you can break the spell. You can.